announcement of the show for today. This is a profile on Howard Gentry Jr., the vice mayor for the uh, city of Nashville, Tennessee. And of course, Mayor, before we had our, fi our final commercial break in a real sense, uh, we promised that we'd give you an opportunity to uh, talk about some of the issues that you see to be very, very important in uh, your upcoming effort to uh, be mayor of the uh, city of Nashville. Well, you know, Nashville has um, issues that are important to it because when you have a metropolitan city, mm -hmm. a city that is on the move, uh, there are a lot of issues mm -hmm. that are, are germane to uh, a city like Nashville. Mm -hmm. And of course, number one and always number one in my mind uh, will be a public education. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, a lot of people say, well, y'all always say public education. Mm -hmm. Well, public education, the system of public education mm -hmm. educates over 70,000 youth a year. Mm -hmm. That is our future population. Those are the future workers and leaders mm -hmm. of this city. Uh, there are other institutions, private and otherwise, that are around the city who also do a great job of educating, mm -hmm. but the masses are educated through our public education mm -hmm. system. So if we want to have a progressive city, if we want to have a healthy city, if we want to have a city that is, is going to continue to be on the move, mm -hmm. then we got to make sure that those people who are educated in our public school system mm -hmm. are getting the best education yeah. possible. Mm -hmm. So it's got to stay number one, you know, but as you have a growing city, you have growing pains. Mm -hmm. And of course, traffic is a big issue mm -hmm. and it's becoming more and more of an issue uh, in our city of Nashville. And though people are talking about light rail and alternative sources of transportation, our MTA bus lines are starting to improve. Mm -hmm. And what we have to do is we've got to use it to its maximum. Mm -hmm. We've got to make sure that the bus routes uh, start um, moving a little quicker rather than a 45 minute wait, mm -hmm. maybe uh, uh, get it to a 20 minute rate wait. Mm -hmm. so the only way you can do that is provide more buses and, mm -hmm. and more resources. Uh, and there are other alternatives where you can keep the buses running mm -hmm. at stoplights and what have you mm -hmm. uh, and, and to keep it flowing. You have to educate your community mm -hmm. that is mm -hmm. used to driving everywhere it goes that uh, the alternative uh, mode of transportation mm -hmm. is best. So that is going to be very important. Mm -hmm. Nashville is, is right now growing. Mm -hmm. There's a boom going on and it's very important that we continue to grow. We need to continue to prosper. Downtown is starting to grow. People are starting to move mm -hmm. back to the inner core of the city and that's very important because the inner core is the heart of the city and so if it's vibrant the city becomes vibrant mm -hmm. but as we move in these directions mm -hmm. we cannot forget that our communities are important mm -hmm. and right now we have some communities that are hurting. Mm -hmm. We have some uh, communities that are struggling with their family structure. Mm -hmm. We have uh, uh, kids that are not um, uh, getting the type of attention that they need. Mm -hmm. And it's not always a negative uh, mark against the parents. Mm -hmm. uh, in a lot of these homes, the parents are doing all they can. Mm -hmm. The mama might have two or three children and she's got to work. Mm -hmm. And she might have to get the bus and have three stops before she gets mm -hmm. uh, back home. So the child comes home to an empty house, to an mm -hmm. empty nest. Mm -hmm. It would be nice if we could utilize our social services mm -hmm. and other mm -hmm. services within the communities to mm -hmm. provide opportunities, mm -hmm. not giveaways, not subsidies, mm -hmm. but opportunities yeah. where these parents can work closer to home, mm -hmm. where they can be home and have a home structure uh, uh, a little better than it is becoming. Mm -hmm. Because see, we can pour all the money we want to pour mm -hmm. into public education, yeah. mm -hmm. but if the child is not ready to learn. Mm -hmm. If the child goes to school every day hungry, if a child goes to school every day hopeless, mm -hmm. I don't care if you put a billion dollars yeah. into public mm -hmm. education, that child is not going to be ready mm -hmm. to receive the benefits of it. So mm -hmm. we're going to have to uplift and strengthen mm -hmm. the family base, yes. the family structure in our communities so communities can be safe and mm -hmm. so communities can be uh, uh, prepared uh, to raise the 